Hello, I'm Kim Klan. I'm a Partner and Employment Specialist at Lauder's Solicitors. I'm going to be talking about employment contracts and the key terms to include in an employment contract, as well as some additional terms that an employer may want to consider. An employer must provide to an employee within two months of work commencing the key terms of the working relationship. This is better known as the written statement of employment particulars. The law details what key terms must be included in the written particulars. Um, these can include holiday rights, pension rights, collective agreements with trade unions and how the relationship terminates. An employer can issue to an employee a contract of employment which can include all these key terms without having to provide an employee with a separate written statement of terms. An employer may wish to include additional terms in its employment contract to the key terms to be provided in the written statement. There are a wide variety of different clauses that an employer could include and what they include really does depend on the employer and the employee. Some examples include payment in lieu of notice clauses uh, which help an employer dismiss well and help protect business interests. There are also post-termination restrictions which restricts an employee's activities for a specified period of time after employment has terminated. It is important for most employers to maintain flexibility in their employment contracts for changes in legislation or operational requirements. There are a number of ways in which this can be done. Um, one is to refer to other documents within the employment contracts, for example a staff handbook which is stated to be expressly non-contractual or they can use clauses within the employment contract which allows the employer to retain the ability to add further provisions. It is important for employers to review regularly their employment contracts, particularly for key employees. It is often the case that on termination of employment, queries will arise as regards rights and responsibilities and that is where costly legal advice is often needed. An employment contract is a good indicator of the agreed terms between an employer and an employee but it is important that the contract is reviewed regularly and that it is drafted clearly and concisely to avoid any disputes as to its meaning. If you would like any help or assistance on any employment issues, then please do get in contact.